Hello and welcome to the show. I am Joe Toppat. Wallace and Gromit sure have been through a lot of adventures over the years. They've been to the moon, dealt with an evil penguin, rescued sheep, struggled with a were-rabbit curse, and faced off against a serial killer. When they're not on a grand adventure, Wallace and Gromit are inventing. And in today's video, I'll be looking at not one, but two shows about inventing, Kraken Contraptions, and World of Invention. Kraken Contraptions was done in between A Close Shave and Curse of the Were-Rabbit. These one to three minute shorts serve two purposes. Give the public more of Wallace and Gromit, and train new animators in working on the characters. There were ten shorts in total, featuring Wallace showing off a new invention while Gromit usually suffers as a result. It may not be a grand adventure, but Kraken Contraptions is funny and fulfills its purpose. Now let's look at the six episode miniseries, World of Invention. The closest we've ever got to a Wallace and Gromit show. This time, the duo takes a look at real life inventors. Each episode featured an inventor of the week, ideas that never took off, inventions that were inspired by unlikely sources, and an invention countdown. If you're interested in learning about modern inventors, World of Invention is for you. If you want another Wallace and Gromit adventure, rewatch the old shorts or movie. Sadly, World of Invention would be the last time Peter Salas would voice Wallace. In 2012, he announced his retirement due to his decline in health. And now, in 2017, we have lost him. What amazes me about Peter Salas was that so many years ago, he agreed to do the voice of this inventor character as a favor to a college student who was lucky enough to land a job at Aardman. Obviously, Nick Park couldn't have paid him a lot of money, and there was no way of knowing if this would become world famous. He just agreed to do this voice as a favor. I mean, just think about that for a second. Peter Salas was a well-known actor in England, famous for doing Last of the Summer Wine. And Nick Park just wrote him a letter asking him to do this voice. Salas could have just laughed it off, read the letter, and tore it up and throw it away. But instead, he did the voice. This story just proves what a great guy Peter Salas was. Now, for the future of Wallace and Gromit. Is there a future? Nick Park had admitted that Peter Salas was his first and only choice for Wallace. And since his decline in health, he has been reluctant to do anything with the characters. He's even said that we might have seen the last adventure of Wallace and Gromit. So, was World of Invention the last time we will ever get to see these characters? It's hard to say. But Peter Lord, one of the founders of Ardman, has given a more optimistic view. He stated that Nick Park is always coming up with new ideas for the characters and has been sketching them a lot in recent times. While it's hard to imagine anybody else voicing Wallace, it has been done before. Actor Ben Whitehead had provided the voice of Wallace in the video games. And during an interview at the premiere of A Matter of Loaf and Death, Peter Salas was asked, would Wallace and Gromit go on without him? And he said, he sees no reason why not. That just shows how humble the guy was. That... He was the only actor to be associated with Wallace and Gromit from the very beginning, the first and only choice. And yet, he was able to see that Wallace and Gromit were bigger than him. That, yeah, 
it can go on without him. It would take time to adjust, but I do believe that there will be a future for these wonderful characters. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this week long celebration of Wallace and Gromit. There will be no new videos next week as I'm taking a break. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.